Here at the GSL, and it's time for the losers match. One of these two players is about to be eliminated here from Group D and Code S. That's right, either Terminator or Byung. I think everyone is hoping that Terminator gets eliminated. Well, so, I don't know, if hoping but expecting. Well, yeah, it's like Byung is. I don't know if they're cheering for him to get eliminated. <laughs> I'm cheering for him to get eliminated. <laughs> I'm not cheering for Byung to win. I'm cheering for Terminator get terminated. Uh, but no, really, uh, Byung is like really this innovative, great Terran. I would love to see him go that round of 16, but you know he's got a Protoss to fight through here, and if he wins that, he has to go up against Solkyu, who's always had Dynamite and ZVT, so it's a tough road. We, I don't know who's going to come out of here, but I don't think it's Terminator, because if he hits Solky again, that didn't look good last time. It's time now to begin this best of three, Terminator against Byung. In the upper right, we have our Protoss player in the red. He is... Gene Air Green Wings Terminator. I will play against Byung, because <laughs> I cannot self-terminate. I was excited to say that one, man. In the upper left, we have our Terran player. Yeah. Pulling the boys. CJN to Byung. You know, I think the problem with Terminator today, Tasteless, is that this is Terminator 2. He's not allowed to kill anybody. That may be the case. Yeah. And there's no other Terminator for him to kill, because that's not a person. And obviously sentient robots don't have feelings. Schwarzenegger was so good in the Terminator. Yeah, he really was. What, what actually, you have, you have to admit, Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually just a pretty impressive person. Is he? Yeah, he was, he was, he was top... I didn't, like him as, I didn't like him as uh, Mr. Freeze. Oh, yeah, I can forgive that. He was, a, But think about it. He was a world-class bodybuilder. Oh, my God, I just hit my funny bone. Oh, my God. It's not funny, is it? Oh, no, it's not funny. Oh, this really hurts. <laughs> That's why they call it the alien <laughs> pain Alien bone. pain bone, yeah. No, no, he was a world-class. Oh, my God, my whole hand is numb. Um, no, he was a world-class bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, became an actor. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest yeah. ever. Yeah, and then be, uh, went into politics. For blockbuster. Pretty, pretty accomplished guy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. He was, he was well picked up. He was also, oh my god, I just remember this. He was Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, that's right. Um, you're completely right. He is a very impressive human. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not as impressive as Byung, who has used mech and won with it against well, Terran. But I'd against like to Protoss. see <laughs> if Schwarzenegger could pull the boys like Byung can. Yeah, I'm sure I, people that are just now view, kind of viewing this, like just now tuning in, they're like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Perhaps. We learned a new uh, term today, guys, that Artosis made up and then convinced all the European players uh, to start using, which was, uh, you know, when SCV ball in, in, in the end of the game. Pull the boys. Pull the boys, yeah. yeah. Because there's no other better way to describe it than that. There, t t you tell me one and we'll call it that. An SCV all in in the end of the game. <laughs> Wow, that's one of the stupidest <laughs> things I've ever heard. That's like what it is. Do you not even know what excitement is or fun? Sorry. My name is Tasteless. I am Terminator also because I have no personality and I'm not fun. Hey, I do say that. And Sulky 2 <laughs> That was a really good impression, man. I yeah. say that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have the Nexus coming down now. Yeah, everything looking very normal here from Terminator. Uh, from Gyong as well. These are like the most common build order openers basically for the matchup. Reaper into you know, Command Center and a Reactor and then... A Nexus off one gas is very popular right now, right into that Mothership core. So we'll have to wait a bit to see what these guys actually want to do. Here comes that SCV. And he'll see what's going on now. And he's going to back out. Uh, not even going into the main there. And the Reaper actually got the probe, so that's good. Uh, I won't be able to scout that this is, in fact, a factory. Because you can't tell 100% uh, you know, if you don't get that SCV scout in there again. Probe scout? Yeah. Um, because, you know, obviously he could be going for, like, a quick uh, eBay, or he could be going for additional barracks, or he could be going for a factory. So he doesn't know that's a factory, but he's choosing the Twilight tech, which will do fine against that. In fact, if it were to be a Twilight All-In and it doesn't get scouted, he could possibly kill him with it. And, in fact, he kills yeah. that off, so it's not going to be scouted. I didn't see anything. Oh. 
He might not even know the main is in there. We don't even know where Toast is. Yeah, he has no idea. Maybe this is uh well, he scouted well, the other main. It would be really weird if the main wasn't in there. Oh, my God. I'm just now remembering another movie Schwarzenegger was in. Kindergarten Cop. He was in so many movies, Stasis. That's where he famously Last said. Last action hero, anybody? It's, it's not a tumor. <laughs> I don't remember it. Yeah. Type it in. You can go to YouTube right now. And someone type in Schwarzenegger. It's not a tumor. I bet it's. I liked him in Twins. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, we, we, you know, it's still not scouted. So, uh. He does see exactly what build this oh is. Oh my god, that's close. And you know what, this guy across the map, that could make uh, a little bit scarier to deal with these Hellions. Yep. Might end up killing a lot of probes oh. here. Almost got a, a trap there. He's doing a good job splitting right now. Ooh, he's killed a lot of probes off now there so far. we're gonna so see far. how truly long it takes one Stalker to kill a Hellion here. Long time, actually. Yep. Much longer than you would think. Oh, that second one came up, he cheated. All right, so uh, he's playing against a quick factory here. Gets that Robo. A little bit scared in case any Widow Mines do come out. Sometimes people mix in a Widow Mine with this as well. Okay, he's moving out now. We do have Stalkers in good position here. Mm -hmm. and Blink is about halfway done, but Byung's going to be hitting from two uh, sides here. One in the main, one in the expansion. This could still do a lot of damage. 34 probes to 32. Let's see how yeah. many probes uh, Byung manages to kill off here. Well, right now, without these... Uh, these stalkers being at the natural, this could be tough. I mean, this guy's just going to run by. He's going to have to put it on that Nexus Cannon, but that's not going to stop these Hellions from roasting all the probes. So the and damage output oh, is not oh. quick enough. I did, did he, okay, he did not get the medevac, but not the most important thing right now. What's mm. more important is how many more probes he's going to get. It's actually 28 probes to 36 probes now. Wow. And now with a 10, pro, uh, 10 worker lead. 25 to 36. That is gigantic. Having killed 18 probes off. Oh, my God. Didn't even lose his medevac. Very, very well done. Oh, okay. right. More barracks being set up now. Blink is about to finish. I don't know um, how much more damage the Stalker's going to do. We'll have to see. Keep in mind, the, the Hellions were picked off, and a lot of the Marines were picked mm -hmm. off. So, uh, Byung did damage, but the question is, can Byung survive the next attack? Well, it's only five Stalkers right now, but he does have that Prox Prowl about to warp in. So, I believe he has uh, four gates. I think he had five. Am I crazy? Was it four? I think it's One, four. two, three there. That's four. Four. Yeah, four yeah. total. I take it back. Uh, Stalker's going to come up now. I still think he has five. I'm like, no, we can <laughs> see the mini-map. There's nothing else big enough to be a gate. <laughs> Tasteless. Tasteless is just in denial about how many gates there are. Yeah. It's like a What does really that mean? Someone get a psychologist <laughs> in here and explain yeah. this to us. Look at this. A nice blink up into that main base. Going to pick off this Widow Mine. Does get it. Not Lost one it. Stalker so far. So far, so good. It looks like he's going to get that... Uh, Tech lap right before the upgrade finish is really nicely done yeah. there. More stalkers being warped in, although I don't know how much more damage he can really do from here. Mm. But, you know, taking out that tech lap, that's pretty huge, Artosis. It certainly is. Uh, you know, it's not the upgrade he would hope to get. Like, you want to get a stim upgrade because it takes forever or combat shields. But concussive shells, uh, a little bit quicker to upgrade. So not not the biggest deal, but very oh, good pick off. He can actually indeed. get back in. No, never mind. Excuse me. Mm. He's really watching with the, that uh, observer. Medivac was and everything else. Oh my wow. God! Nicely done. Although he somehow did not get that medivac. Somehow. That's some good micro from Byung. He like kept pulling it back at just just before the volley went off to try to stop it from dying. Some really great damage going down by Terminator here. Was, uh, you know, despite all of the damage that he took, he's doing a good job of fighting back. So far, so good for him. Terminator um, is now going to be taking up to Colossus. Yeah, this is the type of style I was talking about earlier on. Uh, you know, this is something that you do see on merry go -Round. It's like a good choice for a map like this to open up Blink and go into Colossus Tech. A lot of the top Protosses are trying styles like this because if, I mean, if you don't have any active units out in the map, Terran playing a macro game here or uh, pulling the boys in a macro game or non-macro <laughs> game is extremely difficult to hold. It is. I think there's a good chance we're going to see that uh, this time around here, actually. Forge about halfway done. Keep in mind, Terran's upgrades are going to be superior here. Plus one attack about to actually finish here. Yeah, that is a big deal. Yeah. Put plus one on those uh, Marauders. You think they killed Stalkers before. Oh, ho, ho, Tasis. <laughs> ho, 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 Don't even know. Okay, a drop here. And don't forget the uh, the main, or excuse me, the uh, second base here for Protoss could be hit as well. Now, getting this structure is not particularly impactful. Although, I guess in the long run, if he doesn't have a Temple Archives, he could... Uh, just get run over. Although, I don't... Is he just going to... This is rough. This is actually really bad because yeah. the amount of damage that uh, Young did was pretty impressive. 
Well, you know, this and is somehow, what happens when you lose that many, uh, that many probes in the early game, really. Oh god, just not being able to kill anything off here. Terminator continuing to take a lot of damage, down by about 20 supply well, right now. Terminator's behind, and I think he's only going to get more behind. Terminator does not have an army that he can do anything with out on the map. I mean, he has, like, I think, what, two sentries with that entire uh, second base army? He can't get out and use force fields correctly with just that. Mm. And with the third base finishing up here for Terminator, I, I mean, excuse me, for uh, Byung, I think Terminator is uh, just about out of options. Yeah, it's it's really tough, man. No question there. I don't know how he's going to hold this one. Uh-oh. I don't think he even has a Nexus scan. Oh, my God. Uh, even taking out the sentries there. Oh, and that final uh, Marauder oh, volley. Is, he's dead. It out. This it. is going to be GG, and we're going to have to go to game number two. Yep. Well, that was some good harassment in the early game from Byung. Really snowballed into exactly what we're seeing here, despite some good counter harassment with Stalkers. I'm hoping game number two is going to be better. I heard the sequel to Terminator was uh, a lot better. So let's see if that's the case here or now. Well, I feel like the last thing we're going to see after game number two is a thumb disappearing into lava. He said it might be thumbs down. That's <laughs> not out of Code S. No. Rough day here for Terminator. He's a very good player, but um, I mean, he's just way outclassed by the other guys in this group. Who yeah. knows, though? Maybe he'll turn this around. I think it's very unlikely, but crazier things have happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, the thing is, he is the team captain of Generic Green Wings. And more often than not, that, that doesn't actually have anything to do with skill. What that normally has to do with is it's an older player that has a good amount of experience, has been a pro gamer for a long time, uh, and can kind of help to take care of everyone. Like, not exactly like a coach, but well, it's a like cross a between a player and a coach. Big brother kind of. and a coach. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm, obviously, the team is very good, so he's very good at uh, you know helping manage the team, but he's definitely not delivering results here that are going to get him into the round of 16. At least so far, it looks like that. Yeah. Well, so, if he comes back from here and gets the round of 16 cases, that's that would be a sight to behold. I'll leave my words then. King Sejong Station is the map that Terminator has picked. Really, no room for uh, any errors here for Terminator mm -hmm. for the rest of this game. I got to say, Terminator's had some pretty weak early games throughout this entire uh, Code Yeah, group. well, Sulky and uh, Byung are two of the best Zerg and Terran players, respectively, uh, in the entire world. So, I mean, if you're going to lose to someone badly, you may as well be them. <laughs> and game number two is just now loaded.